When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Welcome back to New Music Saturday Part 2 with Forgotten B. And Forgotten B, are you still there? Yes, I'm hoping the connection is, you know, supported now. Today. Awesome. Well, it sounds good so far. So tonight we're going to get, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to kick it off with a brand new song by Meter Bridge and they're out of BC. And a uh, big shout out to uh, Jill and Richard. And thank you, Jill, for sending me a Dropbox of the new album which is available for pre-order right now on their Bandcamp, at Meter Bridge Bandcamp. This is the title track uh, off their new album called Slow Motion. The song's called Filter. Dig this.
Wow, that was Meter Bridge, and the song's called The Filter. That's off their new album, Slow Motion, which you can pre order on their band camp right now. It'll be out very shortly, and I'm on the exact date, will be out shortly. Uh, very, very much enjoyed that one. Uh, Jill, uh, I know you're at work because she, she, we were Facebooking, we were talking, and she's at work, so she'll miss it. But uh, either way, the vocals were really good in this one. I really enjoyed it, and it really sounded like you put your all into this, and it sounded very good. And of course, as always, I know Richard with his mixing and his beats that he comes up with is just always uh, something else to, to to hear and see what they come up with. Um, I love the as a lover of the cocktail twins, I you know you could really feel sort of hear that influence in it, and I just love the atmospheric sort of spaciness about it, and it's really quirky. But I mean, she's got a great vocal vocals it'd be very mesmerizing um yeah i really enjoyed that it's great right on and next up this is a world premiere so if you guys retweet this please hashtag it world premiere this is a new static in verona and rob has been so good to new music saturday and myself i just it's been very appreciative this is his newest song and he actually did uh this is the second uh, uh rework of it because he sent me one version and they said you know what as per usual I gotta change a few things up, so we change a few things up. But you guys are gonna really, really like the song. This one's called Wait, Wait. This is a rough mix. Dig this. This is a Static in Verona world premiere.
Right on. That was the brand new Static Inverno world premiere of the song called Wait, Wait. It'll be off the new album, due out hopefully by July ish, <laughs> we'll say. Either way, this is a great tune. And uh, when Rob sent me the second version of it, I listened to it with my headphones on, just like I did the first version. And I listened to it and I sent him an email right after. And this song was just absolutely like it, it blew my mind because, as far as I'm concerned, this is his best work so uh, by far. And he started off with a kind of cool uh, electronica mix, kind of like like current early 80s, kind of early 90s as well. And there's a certain part that sounded to me, and I told him this, that sounded exactly like Gene's Addiction. Right. And uh, he almost hit a pitch exactly like Perry Farrell did in some of, some of the songs. And uh, the Gene's Addiction sound was kind of like the bass line, that sort of thing. But I was very impressed and very excited. I was like, no, this is such a cool song. And I'm not saying this because I, I, I appreciate Rob as an artist, but this was a very, very job, good job, well done. You can, I mean, you can definitely hear sort of the 18 years that he spent in sort of different bands and the kind of classical and jazz influences. But, but, I mean, for me, it was sort of, you wouldn't believe it was just one musician. I mean, it definitely, you know, with all the layered sounds and vocals. Um, and I could hear this being used for an advert. I don't, you know, it just, I don't know why. It just kind of stuck just sort of the beginning and things like that. I thought, yeah, I could see that being used on tv so yeah I was impressed. <laughs> right on. well you know what <laughs> rob is a very good guy he's out of chicago and i did interview him as well but uh he is just a very dedicated and he does it when he can and like a lot of artists what they do is they record and mix it first and then when they're when they're in their car they'll listen to it over again and kind of kind of pick out some stuff they want to change even though everybody knows it's a lot better hearing it through, hearing it through uh headphones because you hear so much more that you miss just out of regular speaker, which is it's absolutely crazy to think. But there's so much that you don't uh, you don't hear unless you actually have the earphones on. So let me tell you. I think I think sometimes I mean I've spoken to a musician recently and they were saying they spent ages in the studio recording stuff and then he listened to it in on a different sort of sound system and he just went oh and he was picking you know it's what sounded different in the studio he was picking out and it just didn't work. So yeah, I mean it you know different places different sounds you're going to pick up well that's right and it, and it all comes down to the artist of how how and when they want to they want to uh hear it and record it right because it comes down to what they want to hear and even though you know they have a fan base that sort of thing you know it all comes down to what they want to hear because they have to put that out and kind of live with it because they want to be able to hear it and say you know what we did a good job of saying like oh man i should have changed this or i should have changed that and you know I think it's difficult because there is an element with any artist, you know, painter, whatever artist you are, musician, you know, being a bit of a perfectionist. So I, I suppose there must come a point where you say, right, that's it, you know, it, it's, it's finished. Oh, absolutely. And a lot of artists will tell you too that uh, songs are never finished. And, you know, in some cases that can be true, but you never know unless you're.